Art, art. Art is something creative that expresses ideas and feelings. My sister likes to look at the art in the museum. Book, book. A book is a set of printed sheets of paper that are held together inside a cover. The man smiles as he reads his favorite book. Clothes, clothes. Clothes are what people wear to cover their bodies. I bought warm clothes for the cold winter. Community, community. A community is a group of people who share the same area or interests. The community got together to plant trees. December. December. December is the twelfth month of the year. The last day of the year is December thirty-first. Dinner. Dinner. Dinner is the main meal eaten in the evening. I had a hamburger for dinner. End. End. To end is to stop or finish. They are happy because the teacher wanted to end the class early. Exchange. Exchange. To exchange is to give one thing in return for another. The men exchange business cards. Family. Family. A family is a group of people who are related to each other. There are four people in my family. From, from, from shows a starting place or position. Chris studies from ten o'clock to noon every morning. Green, green, green is the color of growing grass or leaves. I don't like green apples. Home, home. A person's home is the place where that person lives. The family likes to stay at home on the weekends. January, January. January is the first month of the year. My birthday is in January. Red, red. Red is the color of blood. Jack is wearing a red shirt. Seven. Seven. Seven is the word for the number seven. I have seven colored pencils on my desk. Start. Start. To start is to begin doing something. Catherine has to start work at eight o'clock in the morning. Together. Together, together shows an action is done with another person or thing. Let's work together to finish the project. University, university. A university is a school where people study for a degree. My dream is to go to a good university. Where, where. To wear is to have clothing on your body. The man has to wear a suit to work. Year, year. A year is a period of three hundred sixty-five days or twelve months. You become one year older every birthday. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is a seven-day holiday celebrated in the United States and other countries by people of African descent. It is celebrated from December 26th to January 1st each year. The celebration is dedicated to honoring African culture and working together as a community. Kwanzaa was created in 1966 by Mualana Kareng. Kareng was an African studies professor at California State University. According to him, Kwanzaa comes from the Swahili language and means first fruit. 
Kerrang wanted to create a holiday for African Americans as a way for them to reconnect with their heritage. The colors of Kwanzaa are black, red, and green. These colors are seen in decorations such as African pieces of art, baskets, and cloth. Millions of African Americans wear African clothes during Kwanzaa and decorate their homes with fruit and vegetables. Each day, a family will celebrate one of seven different principles of their African heritage, such as unity, faith, and community. Then they light a candle. The candles are put on a candle holder called a kinara. The middle candle is black. The three candles on one side of the kinara are red, and the other three candles are green. On the sixth day of Kwanzaa, families remember their ancestors and get together for a big dinner called a ketamu. Traditional African American dishes, which include chicken, fish, rice, beans, peas, sweet potatoes, and other vegetables, are served. Like Christmas, there are gifts which are exchanged on the seventh day. Books are always included. Because they symbolize the importance of learning about history and tradition, Kwanzaa is a way of celebrating the end of the year by honoring African culture and traditions, and to start the new year with family members as well as the community. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is a seven-day holiday celebrated in the United States and other countries. By people of African descent, it is celebrated from December 26th to January 1st each year. The celebration is dedicated to honoring African culture and working together as a community. Kwanzaa was created in 1966 by Mualana Kering. Kering was an African studies professor at California State University. According to him. Kwanzaa comes from the Swahili language and means first fruit. Kerang wanted to create a holiday for African Americans as a way for them to reconnect with their heritage. The colors of Kwanzaa are black, red, and green. These colors are seen in decorations such as African pieces of art, baskets, and cloth. Millions of African Americans. Wear African clothes during Kwanzaa, and decorate their homes with fruit and vegetables. Each day, a family will celebrate one of seven different principles of their African heritage, such as unity, faith, and community. Then they light a candle. The candles are put on a candle holder called a kinara. The middle candle is black. The three candles on one side of the kinara are red. And the other three candles are green. On the sixth day of Kwanzaa, families remember their ancestors and get together for a big dinner called a ketamu. Traditional African American dishes, which include chicken, fish, rice, beans, peas, sweet potatoes, and other vegetables, are served. Like Christmas, there are gifts which are exchanged on the seventh day. Books are always included because they symbolize the importance of learning about history and tradition. Kwanzaa is a way of celebrating the end of the year by honoring African culture and traditions, and to start the new year with family members as well as the community. Appreciate. Appreciate. To appreciate something is to understand its good qualities. I can appreciate the lovely scenery. Available. Available. If something is available, it means you can get it. There were many seats available in the room. Beat. Beat. To beat someone. Means to do better than they do. I managed to beat everyone in the race. Bright, bright. If something is bright, 
It gives off a lot of light. The bright light from the explosion hurt my eyes. Celebrate. Celebrate. To celebrate is to do something to show that an event is special. We all celebrated when we heard the great news. Decide. Decide. To decide is to make a definite choice. He tried to decide which one to eat first. Disappear. Disappear. To disappear means to go away or not be seen. The top of the building is disappearing in the clouds. Else. Else. If you talk about something else, you talk about something different. I wanted a bike for my birthday, but I got something else. Fair. Fair. Fair means reasonable or right. He sold me his car for a fair price. Flow. Flow. To flow is to move easily and continuously in one direction. The water flowed over the rocks and into the lake. Forward, forward. If you move forward, you move in the direction in front of you. When he saw his mother, the baby crawled forward to her. Hill, hill. A hill is a raised area of land. It is higher than the land around it. The sun was rising above the green hills. Level, level. A level is a point on a scale that measures something. Please check the level of the temperature. Loan, loan. A loan person or thing is the only one in a given place. A lone man walked along the street. Puddle, puddle. A puddle is a pool of liquid on the ground. When the ice melted, it formed a puddle. Response, response. A response is the answer to a question. He asked if I was sad. My response was no. Season. Season. A season is a time of the year: spring, summer, fall, or winter. Fall is a warm season, while winter is very cold. Solution. Solution. A solution is a way to solve a problem. There are many problems. We need solutions. Waste. Waste. To waste means to use something carelessly and unnecessarily. Turn off the water so you don't waste it. Weather. Weather. You use weather when you must choose between two things. I could not decide whether to go left or right. The race for water. There was a town next to a river. The people there had a lot of water, but they wasted it. That made the sky angry. It said, "If you waste water, I will take it away from you." But the people didn't listen. When the season changed from spring to summer, the clouds disappeared. The bright sun was hot and made the river dry. There was no water available. People asked, "When will the rain fall?" The sky's response was, "You don't appreciate water. You waste it. And now I will never make rain again." A boy decided that this wasn't fair. He thought of a solution. He asked the sky to race him. He said. If I get to the top of that hill before your rain can form puddles, you must fill our river. The sky laughed. Little boy, I am the sky. 
I am above everything else. You cannot beat me. But the boy knew he would win. When the race began, the boy ran forward. The sky started raining on the hill, but puddles did not form there. When it rained on the hill, the water went down. The sky kept raining. The water flowed down into the river. When the boy reached the top of the hill, the river was full. The people began to celebrate. It was the highest level the river had ever been at before. The sky was angry. A boy can't beat me. I won't fill your river, it said. Now the boy laughed. It doesn't matter whether you want to fill it or not, he said. You already did. The sky looked at the full river. You tricked me, it said. It asked the people, "Do you appreciate water now?" Yes, they said. We won't waste it. That is how a lone boy saved his town and won the race for water. The race for water. There was a town next to a river. The people there had a lot of water. But they wasted it. That made the sky angry. It said, "If you waste water, I will take it away from you." But the people didn't listen. When the season changed from spring to summer, the clouds disappeared. The bright sun was hot and made the river dry. There was no water available. People asked. When will the rain fall? The sky's response was, "You don't appreciate water. You waste it. And now I will never make rain again." A boy decided that this wasn't fair. He thought of a solution. He asked the sky to race him. He said, "If I get to the top of that hill before your rain can form puddles, you must fill our river." The sky laughed. Little boy, I am the sky. I am above everything else. You cannot beat me. But the boy knew he would win. When the race began, the boy ran forward. The sky started raining on the hill, but puddles did not form there. When it rained on the hill, the water went down. The sky kept raining. The water flowed down into the river. When the boy reached the top of the hill, the river was full. The people began to celebrate. It was the highest level the river had ever been at before. The sky was angry. A boy can't beat me. I won't fill your river, it said. Now the boy laughed. It doesn't matter whether you want to fill it or not," he said. "You already did." The sky looked at the full river. "You tricked me," it said. It asked the people, "Do you appreciate water now?" "Yes," they said. "We won't waste it." That is how a lone boy saved his town. And won the race for water. Town and won the race for water. Always. Always. Always means that something happens all the time. They always brush their teeth in the morning. Ask. Ask. To ask is to say or write something to get an answer. Please ask questions if you do not understand. Banana, banana. A banana is a long yellow fruit with soft white flesh inside. Did you eat a banana for breakfast? Bread, bread. Bread is a food made from flour and water.
You need two pieces of bread to make a sandwich. Cake. Cake. Cake is a sweet dessert made from flour, water, sugar, and eggs. What a beautiful birthday cake! Carrot. Carrot. A carrot is an orange vegetable. I put a carrot in my salad. Chicken. Chicken. Chicken is a bird that is often used for food. Chicken is his favorite kind of meat. Chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate is a sweet food made from cacao beans. I made a chocolate cake for my mom's party. Contain. Contain. To contain is to hold or have something. I have to find something to contain these apples. Delicious. Delicious. If a food is delicious, it is tasty. I love the delicious fried chicken I ate for dinner. Diet. Diet. A diet is the food regularly eaten by a person. His diet mostly consists of fruits and vegetables. Eat, eat. To eat is to chew and swallow food. You should eat breakfast every day. Food, food. Food is things people and animals eat. Pasta is a famous food in Italy. Fruit, fruit. Fruit is a type of healthy food that grows on trees and plants. Apples, pears, and oranges are types of fruit. Great, great. When something is great, it is very good. It was a great, exciting game. Health, health. Health is the state of a person's body. People who want good health should not smoke. Recipe, recipe. A recipe is a set of instructions for cooking a certain type of food. Do you use a recipe when you make that sauce? Restaurant, restaurant. A restaurant is a business where people sit and eat food. Let's eat at the Indian restaurant. Special. Special. If something is special, it is unique and different. The cupcake was special because it had blue frosting. Water. Water. Water is a clear liquid that people need to survive. Drink eight cups of water every day. Eat healthy. It is important to eat healthy food. There are five main healthy food groups. They are grains, fruits, vegetables, protein, and dairy. A food pyramid can show you how much of each group you should eat. Many different kinds of food are necessary for a balanced diet. You need to eat grains such as rice, wheat, and several types of bread. Fruits and vegetables are also important. Fruits such as bananas are good for you. Others such as oranges and kiwis contain a lot of vitamin C. Vegetables are an important part of a daily diet. They are extremely healthy. And can be eaten in many ways. Salads with raw vegetables, such as spinach and carrots, are common, but you can also cook vegetables in many different ways. Soups are another easy way to get vegetables into your diet. Protein is an important food group too. Meats, such as beef and chicken, are well-known forms of protein. Tofu, beans, eggs, and nuts. Also contain high amounts of protein. You should also eat dairy products such as cheese, 
yogurt, and milk as well. A healthy diet includes drinking lots of water instead of sugary drinks, such as soda and juice. While sweets may not be considered healthy foods, they are fine if you don't eat too many. Chocolate and cake are well loved sweets commonly found at restaurants and grocery stores. They are often served at special events, such as birthday parties and weddings. At restaurants, you can ask the waiters to tell you which ingredients are included in different dishes. At home, you can always find healthy and delicious recipes in cookbooks or on the internet. Eating healthy food is great for your health. Eat healthy. It is important to eat healthy food. There are five main healthy food groups. They are grains, fruits, vegetables, protein, and dairy. A food pyramid can show you how much of each group you should eat. Many different kinds of food are necessary for a balanced diet. You need to eat grains, such as rice, wheat, and several types of bread. Fruits and vegetables are also important. Fruits, such as bananas, are good for you. Others, such as oranges and kiwis, contain a lot of vitamin C. Vegetables are an important part of a daily diet. They are extremely healthy and can be eaten in many ways. Salads with raw vegetables, such as spinach and carrots, are common, but you can also cook vegetables in many different ways. Soups are another easy way to get vegetables into your diet. Protein is an important food group too. Meats, such as beef and chicken, are well known forms of protein. Tofu, beans, eggs, and nuts also contain high amounts of protein. You should also eat dairy products, such as cheese, yogurt, and milk as well. A healthy diet includes drinking lots of water. Instead of sugary drinks, such as soda and juice. While sweets may not be considered healthy foods, they are fine if you don't eat too many. Chocolate and cake are well loved sweets commonly found at restaurants and grocery stores. They are often served at special events, such as birthday parties and weddings. At restaurants, You can ask the waiters to tell you which ingredients are included in different dishes. At home, you can always find healthy and delicious recipes in cookbooks or on the internet. Eating healthy food is great for your health. Alive. Alive. Someone or something that is alive is not dead. My grandparents are still alive even though they are over 90. Bone, bone. A bone is a hard part of the body. I brought home a nice bone for my dog. Bother, bother. To bother is to make the effort to do something. No one bothered to wash the dishes today. Captain, captain. A captain is the person who controls a ship or airplane. The captain sailed his ship to Australia. Conclusion. Conclusion. The conclusion of something is the final part of it. At the conclusion of the race, the spectators cheered for the winner. Doubt. Doubt. Doubt is a feeling of not being sure. I have doubt that the story is true. Explore. Explore. To explore is to look for new places. He wants to explore the world and see new things. Glad. Glad. If you are glad, you are happy. I am glad you came to my party. However, however. However means despite or not being influenced by something. She is a great cook. However, she never had professional lessons. 
Injustice. Injustice. Injustice is a lack of fairness or justice. Putting an innocent person in jail is an act of injustice. International. International. If something is international, it involves more than one country. The United Nations is a powerful international organization. Lawyer, lawyer. A lawyer works with the law and represents people in court. The lawyer left the courthouse after the judge made her decision. Mention, mention. To mention something is to talk about it. The doctors mentioned the problems that the patient was having. Old, old. Someone who is old has lived for many years. My mother is seventy years old now. Policy, policy. A policy is a rule. He told us that his policy was to put customers first. Social, social. If something is social, it is about many people in a community. People should come together and fix the world's social problems. Speech, speech. A speech is something said to a group of people. She gave a speech to the class. Staff. Staff. A staff is a group of people working together in a company. My dad has a staff of four people to help him at the office. Toward. Toward. If you go toward something, you go closer to it. Santa walked toward my house with a bag of gifts. Wood, wood. Wood is the thing that trees are made of. I put the pieces of wood in a pile. Shipwrecked. Simon Yates was a lawyer. He helped many people. However, he was not a nice man. His policy was to help only rich people. He didn't bother about social injustice. He made a lot of money, but many people didn't like him. Even people on his staff didn't like him. In fact, they were glad when he got into trouble. Simon had a very bad day. He did many things wrong and lost his job. Soon. He didn't have any money. His wife, Mrs. Yates, began to have doubts about him. Simon wanted to start a new life. He planned to leave the country. He mentioned his plan to the captain of a ship. The captain was exploring the world. The captain felt bad for Simon and said, "I will take you to foreign countries." They left the next day. Near the conclusion of their international trip, the weather turned bad. A wave pushed Simon off the boat, but he was alive. He swam toward an island. After a long time, he got there. At first, he was upset. He was lost and alone. I'll never go home again, he thought. He had a lot of problems. But he didn't die. He built a house in a tree. He lived on a diet of fish. He made tools from wood and bones. He made a cup to drink rainwater. Slowly, he learned to be happy on the island. He swam every day. He had trouble sometimes, but he always found a way to fix the problem. Life was simple. He liked it. Finally, people on a ship saw Simon on the island. They wanted to take him home, but Simon was happy. He gave them a long speech about life. He said he wanted to stay. He liked his new simple life more than his old life. 
shipwrecked. Simon Yates was a lawyer. He helped many people. However, he was not a nice man. His policy was to help only rich people. He didn't bother about social injustice. He made a lot of money, but many people didn't like him. Even people on his staff didn't like him. In fact, they were glad when he got into trouble. Simon had a very bad day. He did many things wrong and lost his job. Soon, he didn't have any money. His wife, Mrs. Yates, began to have doubts about him. Simon wanted to start a new life. He planned to leave the country. He mentioned his plan to the captain of a ship. The captain was exploring the world. The captain felt bad for Simon and said, I will take you to foreign countries. They left the next day. Near the conclusion of their international trip, the weather turned bad. A wave pushed Simon off the boat, but he was alive. He swam toward an island. After a long time, he got there. At first, he was upset. He was lost and alone. I'll never go home again, he thought. He had a lot of problems, but he didn't die. He built a house in a tree. He lived on a diet of fish. He made tools from wood and bones. He made a cup to drink rainwater. Slowly, he learned to be happy on the island. He swam every day. He had trouble sometimes, but he always found a way to fix the problem. Life was simple. He liked it. Finally, people on a ship saw Simon on the island. They wanted to take him home. But Simon was happy. He gave them a long speech about life. He said he wanted to stay. He liked his new simple life more than his old life. Achieve. Achieve. To achieve something is to successfully do it after trying hard. I was happy that I could achieve my goal. Advise. Advise. To advise someone is to tell them what to do. My mother often advises people about their money. Already. Already. If something happens already, it happens before a certain time. It is already time for the movie to start. Let's go in. Basic. Basic. If something is basic, it is very simple or easy. I learned some basic English skills in school today. Bit. Bit. A bit is a small amount of something. I ate a bit of chocolate before I went to bed. Consider. Consider. To consider something means to think about it. Pete didn't like his job. He considered getting a new one. Destroy. Destroy. To destroy means to damage something so badly that it cannot be used. The glass was destroyed. Entertain. Entertain. To entertain someone is to do something that they enjoy. The clown entertained the kids at the party. Extra. Extra. If something is extra, it is more than what is needed. The squirrel had extra nuts for the winter. Goal. Goal. A goal is something you work toward. Her goal was to become a doctor. Lie. Lie. To lie is to say or write something untrue to deceive someone. Whenever Pinocchio lied to his father, his nose grew.
Meat. Meat. Meat is food made of animals. This piece of meat I'm eating tastes very good. Opinion. Opinion. An opinion is a thought about a person or a thing. Meg told me her opinion of my story. She said it was not funny. Real. Real. If something is real, it actually exists. Some people don't believe in aliens from space, but I think they're real. Reflect. Reflect. To reflect is when a surface sends back light, heat, sound, or an image. Her face was reflected in the smooth glass. Regard, regard. To regard people is to think of them in a certain way. The boy regarded the girl as a good friend. Serve, serve. To serve someone is to give them food or drinks. He served us our drinks quickly. Vegetable, vegetable. A vegetable is a plant used as food. Carrots are my favorite vegetable. War, war. A war is a big fight between two groups of people. Many young men died in the war. Worth, worth. If something is worth an amount of money, it costs that amount. Our house is worth a lot of money. The Seven Cities of Gold. Many years ago, a Spanish officer named Coronado heard the story of seven great cities. The walls of these cities are made of gold. His friends told him. The people eat meat from golden plates and dress in nice clothes. They said, "They called these cities the seven cities of gold." Were the cities real? Coronado never considered asking his friends. Coronado thought to himself, "The things in these cities must be worth a lot of money." So he went to find the seven cities of gold. He took along three hundred men, many horses. And extra food, they headed west. Coronado wanted to achieve his goal very badly. Coronado and his men rode for many days. Then they saw some cities. We found the seven cities of gold, his men said. But Coronado wasn't happy. He had a different opinion. These can't be the seven cities of gold, he said. Look. They're made of dirt. Coronado was right. The cities weren't bright and golden; they were dirty and brown. The people didn't eat meat from golden plates; they ate vegetables from regular bowls. They wore the most basic clothes. Coronado regarded the cities as ugly places. What happened to the cities of gold? He thought. Did someone destroy them? Was there a war? Did someone already come and take the gold? That night, the people of the cities entertained Coronado and his men, and served them food. They advised Coronado to go home. There is no gold here, they told him. Coronado was angry. Did his friends lie to him? He left the next morning. He looked back at the cities one more time. The sun reflected light on the dirt houses. Coronado thought he saw a bit of gold. Were his friends right after all? No, he told himself. It's just the sun. Then he turned away and went home. The Seven Cities of Gold. Many years ago, a Spanish officer named Coronado. Heard the story of seven great cities. The walls of these cities are made of gold. His friends told him, "The people eat meat from golden plates and dress in nice clothes." They said, "They called these cities the seven cities of gold." Were the cities real? 
Coronado never considered asking his friends. Coronado thought to himself, The things in these cities must be worth a lot of money. So he went to find the seven cities of gold. He took along three hundred men, many horses, and extra food. They headed west. Coronado wanted to achieve his goal very badly. Coronado and his men rode for many days. Then they saw some cities. We found the seven cities of gold, his men said. But Coronado wasn't happy. He had a different opinion. These can't be the seven cities of gold, he said. Look, they're made of dirt. Coronado was right. The cities weren't bright and golden, they were dirty and brown. The people didn't eat meat from golden plates. They ate vegetables from regular bowls. They wore the most basic clothes. Coronado regarded the cities as ugly places. What happened to the cities of gold? he thought. Did someone destroy them? Was there a war? Did someone already come and take the gold? That night, the people of the cities entertained Coronado and his men and served them food. They advised Coronado to go home. There is no gold here, they told him. Coronado was angry. Did his friends lie to him? He left the next morning. He looked back at the cities one more time. The sun reflected light on the dirt houses. Coronado thought he saw a bit of gold. Were his friends right after all? No, he told himself. It's just the sun. Then he turned away and went home. Peer, appear. To appear is to seem. She appeared to be sad. She was crying. Base. Base. The base is the bottom of something. The base of the table has three legs. Brain. Brain. The brain is the organ in your head that lets you think. You must use your brain to solve the problem. Career. Career. A career is a job that you do for a large part of your life. He was in the hospitality business for most of his career. Clerk. Clerk. A clerk is a type of worker. Clerks in a store help customers. The clerk added up her bill for the groceries. Effort. Effort. Effort is hard work. Or an attempt to do something. He always puts a lot of effort into his studies. Enter. Enter. To enter a place is to go into it. Two guards greeted me as I entered the front door. Excellent. Excellent. When something is excellent, it is very good. I got an excellent score on my school test. Hero. Hero. A hero is a brave person who does things to help others. To children, the man in the blue and red costume was a real hero. Hurry. Hurry. To hurry is to do something quickly. I hurried home on my bike. Inform. Inform. To inform someone is to tell them about something. I called and informed her about my idea. Later. Later. Later means after the present, expected, or usual time. She missed the train, so she'll arrive a little later than expected. Leave, leave. To leave means to go away from someone or something. He packed his bag and was ready to leave for home. Locate, 
locate. To locate something is to find it. I could not locate my keys in the house. Nurse. Nurse. A nurse is a person who helps sick people in the hospital. A nurse helped me get better. Operation. Operation. An operation is when a doctor replaces or removes something in the body. The operation on my arm was a success. Pain. Pain. Pain is the feeling that you have when you are hurt. His head was full of pain. Refuse. Refuse. To refuse something is to say no to it. The dog refused to play with the cat. Though. Though. Though is used when one idea makes another seem surprising. Though he was overweight, he liked to be active. Various. Various. If something is various, there are many types of it. She owned shoes of various styles. Katie. I first met eight-year-old Katie on a rainy afternoon. I was a nurse at a hospital. The clerk at the desk told me about Katie. She was there because she felt a lot of pain. The doctors located a problem at the base of her brain. I knew she was special even before she got better. I'll always remember Katie as a hero. When I entered Katie's room, she was not in her bed. She was in a chair next to Tommy, a little boy. Though Katie did not feel well, she was playing with Tommy and his toys. It took a lot of effort for her just to sit in the chair. But she played with Tommy because it made him happy. Katie was always smiling and never appeared to be in pain. She refused to just lie in bed. One day, I found her painting a picture. Later, she gave it to one of the older patients. Another day, she went outside to get flowers for another sick little girl. Katie made everyone smile. The doctors hurried to fix the problem in Katie's brain. The operation was successful. The doctors informed the hospital staff of the good news. Katie was fine. She soon felt excellent. She got better and was able to leave the hospital a month later. I have had a long career as a nurse. I have met many patients. However, I have never met another girl like Katie. Even after she got well, she still came to the hospital. She played various games with the young patients. She read many books to the older patients. Katie's kind heart helped her get better so quickly. She is a hero to me and everyone else at the hospital. Katie I first met eight-year-old Katie on a rainy afternoon. I was a nurse at a hospital. The clerk at the desk told me about Katie. She was there because she felt a lot of pain. The doctors located a problem at the base of her brain. I knew she was special even before she got better. I'll always remember Katie as a hero. When I entered Katie's room, she was not in her bed. She was in a chair next to Tommy, a little boy. Though Katie did not feel well, she was playing with Tommy and his toys. It took a lot of effort for her just to sit in the chair. But she played with Tommy because it made him happy. Katie was always smiling and never appeared to be in pain. She refused to just lie in bed. One day, I found her painting a picture. Later, she gave it to one of the older patients. Another day, she went outside to get flowers for another sick little girl. 
Katie made everyone smile. The doctors hurried to fix the problem in Katie's brain. The operation was successful. The doctors informed the hospital staff of the good news. Katie was fine. She soon felt excellent. She got better and was able to leave the hospital a month later. I have had a long career as a nurse. I have met many patients. However, I have never met another girl like Katie. Even after she got well, she still came to the hospital. She played various games with the young patients. She read many books to the older patients. Katie's kind heart helped her get better so quickly. She is a hero to me and everyone else at the hospital. Actual. Actual. Actual means real or true. This is the actual sword that the king owned, not a fake one. Amaze. Amaze. To amaze people is to surprise them very much. The news in the paper amazed Jack. Charge. Charge. A charge is the price to pay for something. The charge for the shirts was fifteen dollars. Comfort, comfort. To comfort someone means to make them feel better. I wanted to comfort my friend after I heard the bad news. Contact, contact. To contact people is to speak or write to them. I contacted Sue about my party. Customer, customer. A customer is a person who buys something at a store. The customer put a few items in a bag. Deliver, deliver. To deliver something is to take it from one place to another. The man delivered Chinese food to my house. Earn, earn. To earn means to get money for the work you do. He earns his living as a chef in a great restaurant. Gate, gate. A gate is a type of door. Gates are usually made of metal or wood. We want to put up a wooden gate around our house. Include. Include. To include something means to have it as part of a group. Does this meal include a soft drink? Manage. Manage. To manage something means to control or be in charge of it. I had to manage the meeting myself. Mystery, mystery. A mystery is something that is difficult to understand or explain. The path on the map was a complete mystery to me. Occur, occur. To occur means to happen. When did the thunderstorm occur? Opposite, opposite. If A is the opposite of B, A is completely different from B. The opposite of black is white. Plate, plate. A plate is a flat, round thing that you put food on. I put my plate down so I could put some food on it. Receive, receive. To receive something is to get it. I received a present on my birthday. Reward, reward. A reward is something given in exchange for good behavior or work. He was given a reward for his excellent performance. Set, set. To set something is to put it somewhere. Please set the dice down on the table. Steal, steal. To steal is to take something that is not yours.
The men tried to steal money from the bank. Thief, thief. A thief is someone who quietly takes things that do not belong to them. A thief broke into our home and took my mother's jewelry. A better reward. Jenny delivered food for a restaurant. She read the newspaper and said, "Uh oh, there was a story about a thief. He stole food, and no one had seen him. Even the police couldn't catch him." Jenny was a little scared. She worked close to that area. The newspaper included a message from the police: "If anything strange occurs, call us." If you help us catch the thief, you'll earn a reward. Jenny talked to Jim. He managed the restaurant. Do you know about the thief? Yes, he said. But he steals more than one person can eat. And why haven't the police stopped him yet? It's a mystery. If you see him, contact the police. Don't run after him. Jenny drove to a customer's house. She left her car and opened the gate to the house. But then she heard a noise by her car. She said, "Thief!" She wasn't scared. She wanted the reward. She did the opposite of what Jim told her to do. "Hey," she said, "get back here." She set the food on the ground and ran to her car. But the thief had already left with the food. Jenny followed a noise around the corner. She was amazed. She saw a dog and some puppies. They were eating her food. They looked thin and scared. The actual thief is just a dog. She's feeding her puppies. She said, "That's why she steals so much food." Jenny felt bad. She tried to comfort the dogs with another plate of food. Then she took them back to the store. Everyone there took a puppy home. Jenny called the police. She told them there was no real thief. Jenny didn't do it to receive the reward anymore. She said it was just a dog, but there's no charge for catching this thief. She said, "My new dog is a better reward." A better reward. Jenny delivered food for a restaurant. She read the newspaper and said, "Uh oh, there was a story about a thief. He stole food, and no one had seen him. Even the police couldn't catch him. Jenny was a little scared. She worked close to that area. The newspaper included a message from the police." If anything strange occurs, call us. If you help us catch the thief, you'll earn a reward. Jenny talked to Jim. He managed the restaurant. Do you know about the thief? Yes, he said. But he steals more than one person can eat. And why haven't the police stopped him yet? It's a mystery. If you see him, contact the police. Don't run after him. Jenny drove to a customer's house. She left her car and opened the gate to the house. But then she heard a noise by her car. She said, "Thief!" She wasn't scared. She wanted the reward. She did the opposite of what Jim told her to do. "Hey," she said, "get back here." She set the food on the ground and ran to her car, but the thief had already left with the food. Jenny followed a noise around the corner. She was amazed. She saw a dog and some puppies. They were eating her food. They looked thin and scared. The actual thief is just a dog. She's feeding her puppies. She said, "That's why she steals so much food." Jenny felt bad. She tried to comfort the dogs with another plate of food. Then she took them back to the store. 
Everyone there took a puppy home. Jenny called the police. She told them there was no real thief. Jenny didn't do it to receive the reward anymore. She said, It was just a dog. But there's no charge for catching this thief, she said. My new dog is a better reward.